Happy Monday. Bright, beautiful day at the lake. High today here in Arizona is 106. Anything under 109 is a keeper, so we'll take 106. If you saw the short video I did, that's a heads up as to this video. And it's genuinely how I feel. God hears and answers every prayer. People will, I hear it all the time. I pray about this. I don't, I don't get an answer. God doesn't answer me. Well, what do you want him to do? Think of the answers you give your kids. They don't always get their way and they're not always happy about that. Same thing. Only instead of parenting one child or two or three, look how many he has to parent. I would not want his job. Not enough Tylenol, Advil, and Maalox in the world for his job. So we get answers like, of course, yes. I've been waiting for you to do this. Great, you found your passion. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for blessing this person, for helping this person. I'm proud of you. You don't hear the words, but maybe you kind of feel that inner glow. That could be an answer. When you do something really nice for someone, when you do something through altruism, you do something without expecting anything in return, just because it's the right thing to do. That ASMR happy feeling that you get, well, a little bit of that is God saying, hey, you're making me proud. You're doing good. Now, unfortunately, sometimes the answer is, I don't think so. No. It's not time. You're not ready. I've told you no before. And I truly think, I honest to God, I, I really think a lot of times the answer is, you have got to be kidding me. I said, no, stop asking. Because how many times when you pray, you pray for the same thing over and over and over. You're probably just not ready. He's not, I mean, unless it's something absolutely ludicrous that is that you truly do not need in your life or someone that you do not need in your life. He has your best interest at heart. And so the answers, you're going to get a lot of no's. We probably get more no's than yeses, but that kind of goes along with parenting, doesn't it? But... Look at the, the positives that you do every day. You get up, you hopefully have a good attitude. That makes him proud. That makes him proud. You don't cut somebody off in traffic. You let somebody in, you know, in your lane. You're in a hurry. You know, drivers, at least drivers here in Arizona. Oh my God. But you don't lose your temper. You don't make obscene gestures. You play nice. You know, he smiles a little, you know. He raised your right. You heard what he was saying. You know, it finally sunk into your thick head. The same things that we think about our kids. When they do something great, how does it make you feel? That pride. I'm sure he feels that too when we do something amazing. And it's not big amazing. It's just amazing in your life. Maybe you do something to bless someone. And um, I know years ago, uh, I had given a wheelchair to an elderly woman that needed a wheelchair. She was at the doctor's office. I had had a stroke years ago, had been in a wheelchair for a number of years. And I was visiting my doctor, and this elderly woman was standing at the counter in front of me with her daughter. And she could barely stand and her daughter was helping her stand. Lovely lady. And I just I just knew what I had to do. And they were finishing up, and her daughter said, now, you know, I'm going to help you over to the chair. And she said, okay. And I, I told the girl at the receptionist, I'll be back in a minute. I went out to the car. I got the wheelchair out of the trunk, brought it in. And I said, I think this belongs to you. And she said, I don't have a wheelchair. I said, you do now. I don't need this anymore. You do. 
And she started to cry and she said, it's blue, it's my favorite color. I said, well, then it's meant for you. That was an act of altruism. I wasn't doing it for the kudos. I was doing it because it was the right thing to do. And I have a feeling right about then, I got a pretty good smile and a pat on the head from God. I listened to the way I'd been taught. I did the right thing. He sees all, he hears all, he knows all. And this takes me to another little topic on while we're talking about God. Please understand that he does see all, hear all, know all. He knows what's in your heart. Yeah, you go to church on Sunday. You go to church, you go to synagogue on Friday and Saturday. You go to mosque and you think, I'm good. I got this. I got it covered. You say all the right things. You, you repeat all the right prayers. And then you go home and you're an ass. You cheat on your spouse. You're, you behave terribly. You speak horribly to your children and to other people. You go to work and you're mean and you're nasty. Maybe you cheat, you steal. But you tell yourself, oh, I go to church, it's okay, I'm good. I go to synagogue, I'm, I'm good. No, you're not. That's not a get out of jail free card because you go to church, because you go to confession. No, he sees all, he knows all, he hears all. He knows what is in your heart. Bottom line, you cannot bullshit God. He knows. This is why I tell people, be your authentic self. Live your authentic life. Because that's what God wants. He wants you to be you. He doesn't want you to put on an act. Because he knows who you are on the inside. You're not fooling anybody. You're trying. Just be you. Be kind. I think if people could be their authentic self, they wouldn't be so angry. Because you're not trying to put on an act. You're not carrying around a facade. You're just being you. This is me. Absolutely, positively, every day, this is me. Now, I can go in and put on a designer suit. I can go in and put on an evening dress. I can speak very eloquently. I can clean up really well. But my heart is still my heart, and I'm still me. I want you to be you. God wants you to be you. Just be you. He's going to love you no matter who you are. doesn't matter. makes absolutely no difference. Just be you. Listen to the answers. Respect his answers. No means no. Just hang in there.